uh, you know, applications that can help drive the business. Yeah. The second thing is, look at the look at the the I in in CIO. That's information. That's also insight. That's insights to help drive the business forward. I was talking to the CIO of a major hotel chain who said, you know, my goal is to help my company increase occupancy rates. And so, if you can give me an infrastructure that helps me do that, I'm much more interested in that discussion than I am in, hey, can I save 10% on the cost of the infrastructure? So I think that we are really coming to the fore as Dell uh, with that mindset to the CIO, which is saying, look, we can help you um, drive your business forward. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying TCO is not important, but I think the conversation and the discourse within IT has moved well beyond total cost of ownership. I think IT has a generally good sense of that. You mentioned the the 75, you know, 25 or 70, 30 maintenance, you know, new development kind of, or you know, innovation m mix, and a big part of that problem is due to the labor issue, which mm -hmm. is we spend probably 50 to 60 percent of our dollars in IT on people. Yes. And that's a problem. You know, we're supposed to be automating, <laughs> and uh, it's choking innovation. And so I think things like converged infrastructure attack that. Uh, other things that are attacking that are DevOps. I don't know if you've seen that as a major trend. I know Dell, maybe a different part of Dell, but is very active in the DevOps community. Um, you know, this whole intersection of operations and, and development. And then the other big, you know, business productivity enabler is big data. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if you could talk about that a little bit. And sure. Dell's play there. Talk about big data. Um, we like to actually. I think that the industry in general has done itself a disservice by calling it big data because um, uh, that confuses people. They think it has to be really big. The answer, the, the right phrase is big insights. And we, you can get big insights from actually pretty small amounts of data. Uh, if, you, if you saw that movie Moneyball, which is all about getting really good insights to, to do baseball from pretty small amounts of data. Yeah, so they were using spreadsheets. <laughs> <laughs> so what we look at, to, when we talk to a customer and saying, you know, whether you're a mid-sized company with, with uh, only a, you know, two or three terabytes of data, or a large company with petabytes of data, we're going to provide the right overall solution for you. So today when customers, say, when customers hear big data, they immediately jump to, okay, well that means I need lots of storage, that means I need Hadoop, that means I need um, you know, some kind of uh, um, infrastructure that is uh, parallel, and for most customers that's not at all appropriate. They should be able to use their existing infrastructure. They, sh they don't need Hadoop, they need something else. And so we look at it as how do we get the big insights for you from any size data set, not focusing on the big size data set. Okay, good. All right, Praveen, um, thank you very much for coming on theCUBE, taking time out of your busy schedule here. What's so, uh, so what's next for you at Dell, Dell Storage Forum this year? Meeting with customers, channel partners, employees? All of that, Yeah. customers, press, analysts, Channel partners. What are the analysts asking you? Asking me a lot of the questions you're asking. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> good. All right, well listen, thanks very much for coming on. It was a pleasure meeting you. And pleasure uh, to meet you. Good luck with the continued transformation at, at Dell. We'll be watching and uh, keep it right there, everybody. Uh, we couldn't be here without the generous support of, of Dell and Legal Seafood. Uh, so we got a bunch of prizes that we're giving away later. Thanks to Legal, so uh, keep it right there. We'll be right back. <laughs>